So, in 2022, when we get the new Apple Watch 8, we may get some big changes with a new model being added to the lineup, what I want to show and talk about today. I also want to talk about the new features of the 2022 Apple Watch, including the Apple Watch 8 release date and price. Hi, it's Matt here, and we now have the new Series 7 out, and it's time to start looking towards the new Series 8. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here, in these videos I'm going to give you the latest details of specific leaks and reports, then details of the planned release date and then a summary of the models that are going to be released with all their features that we've learnt in previous leaks. After I'm going to reveal my wishlist for the next Apple Watch but also put in the comments below what features you'd like to see in the next Apple Watch and in my next video I may feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. So let's first talk about what we've got for the Series 7. Now the Series 7 does have a nice larger screen that is about 20% larger than the Series 6 and to top this off it's also around about 70% brighter for the always on display. Another big change is also the glass on the screen what is around about 50% stronger than on the Series 6 and finally you can now charge the Apple Watch with a USB-C end for the actual charger what basically means fast charging. The new lineup now that Apple sells is the Series 3, the SE and the new Series 7. So let's talk design. Earlier this year we had lots of leaks from John Prozer that there will be a brand new flat design similar to the iPhone 12 and 13. We had loads of corresponding reports since then from lots of other well-known leakers. But there's also been a new report saying there's going to be a new Apple Watch that will also have a rugged casing aimed at athletes, hikers and others who use the device more in the sort of extreme environments. Now we've had tougher glass added to the Apple Watch 7 but for a full body design to have this will be a first. The report has come from Mark Gurman and in his report he is claiming Apple are working on this rugged design and it should be available next year in 2022. If Apple do offer this new model then it will be a first for them to offer something like this for environments where basically you can throw your watch around a little bit more. Currently the Apple Watch can go to depths for say under 50 metres of waters and the watch's bodies are made of aluminium, titanium and stainless steel cases. So this would be an addition to these kind of metals and bits and pieces for this type of new casing for the Apple Watch 8. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 8. I can only present to you what I know and been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So next is the release date, but just before I do that. So then guys, just quickly, this channel got over 260,000 subscribers and I announced who the winner was for this brand new iPad Pro M1. And do check out my video on my channel of who this iPad Pro is going to. But the great news is guys, I am doing another giveaway and it is for this. It is for a brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max 128 gigabyte model in the Sierra Blue. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 300,000 subscribers. And just like the last giveaway, what I want you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy in 2021 or maybe into 2022. Also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to this button, hit that notification bell, because when we get over 300,000 subscribers, I will be notifying you guys of who the winner is of this brand new iPhone. And just quickly on that, I do want to quickly comment that if you do get a comment to say that you've won or something like this before we hit the 300,000 marker, it is probably not me. It is most likely a scammer. And the best way you can tell if this is a scammer or not is basically open up that person's account by open, clicking on their profile and you'll be able to see how many subscribers they got. And if they've got less than 260,000 subscribers, like at the time I'm making this video here, then basically you will know they are not me. Plus, also at the same time as well, they will probably have hardly any videos uploaded and also their account will probably be very, very new. So do ignore these emails or these messages from these people or what you can do is at the same time, you can actually report them to YouTube. But enough of that, like I said, 
over 300,000 subscribers is the only time I'm going to be announcing who the winner is of this iPhone 13 Pro Max and that's the only prize I'm going to be doing between now and then. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. Also at the same time guys, if you're liking this video so far, please do press the like button. Well, let's get back to the main video. So, for release date, in past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with the two devices becoming available for purchase around a similar time. Again, this happened with the iPhone 13 and we also saw the Apple Watch being revealed at the same event. Well, again, we're looking towards the iPhone 14's announcement as inspiration. So based on everything going well through the end of 2021 into summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How is it possible to work this out, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple and it's quite logistic when you really think about it. Let's do a quick summary of how we've got to here by doing a quick summary of the last 10 years of iPhone model release dates. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019 we saw the release of the iPhone XS on September 21st and the XR on October 26th and last year for example with the iPhone 12 models the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different with the main exception of 2021 where it was a bit unusual for the iPhone 12 to come out a bit later but this was due to Covid so we did have a release on all the models. However this year in 2021 we're back on schedule with the iPhone 13 and that's being released at the end of September with all four models having a date of their release of September 24th. So based on everything that we know so far from previous years, including 2021, it is most likely the iPhone 14 and the Apple Watch Series 8 will have an announcement in mid-September and then the release will probably be a couple of weeks later afterwards. Now with those latest leaks and reports out of the way and the release date as well, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted a picture for for the details of the Apple Watch Series 8. So it is still very very early days but for the Series 8 first of all we're expecting the actual Apple Watch to be slightly bigger now and we're going to be getting a 41mm and a 45mm screen and this is going to be an LTPO OLED screen. It's going to chuck out a 1000 nit brightness and also like I've said we're going to be getting that brand new design that we should have got with the Series 7 but we're now going to be getting with the Series 8. For storage options, we're going to get a choice between a 32 or 64 gigabyte storage option so you can put like your Apple Music on it. We're also going to be getting that S8 chipset which is going to be a massive improvement on the S7 and S6. We're also going to be getting a U2 um, ultra wideband sensor and also we're going to be getting Bluetooth 6.0 and finally 5G connectivity for the Apple Watch. We're also going to be getting that brand new glucose monitoring sensor, what has been rumoured and talked about for ages to be put inside this Series 8. Then for the actual body, what it's going to be made out of, we're going to have aluminium, stainless steel and a titanium body style. And this is what we have right now with other Apple Watches. We're also looking likely to be getting a Touch ID on the standby button on the side of the actual Apple Watch. This is going to be very similar to the iPad Air and also the iPad Mini. And then for battery, we've been told it's going to be an all-day battery of up to 18 hours. And then also we'll be getting that USB-C charging port end to allow the actual Apple Watch Series 8 to charge faster. The starting prices for the 41mm and 32GB will start at $399 US dollars and then $449 US dollars for the 64GB model and then for the 45mm screen this will start at $429 US dollars for the 32GB option and the 64GB option at $479 US dollars. Now there are lots of different kind of variants 
variants that you could chuck into here depending like if you pick the Nike option and also if you change it to a different kind of body style the prices will change but I couldn't put every single different option on here but this is basically the bog standard starting prices for the Apple Watch Series 8. So that is a summary of the Apple Watch Series 8. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wish is actually to put a selfie camera in the Apple Watch. Now hear me out on this one, it would just be a small 720p one. The reason is if you had a phone call on your Apple Watch or if you've ever had one before, you will know you have to kind of lift your arm up to talk into it. So for me it kind of makes sense to put a kind of a camera in it as well. Or even if you're sitting or lying down at the moment, for example with the iPhone, you still have to hold it in your hand. So why not just hold up your arm with the Apple Watch with a small camera inside it. Maybe Apple could also angle the camera in a way that it wouldn't shoot right up your nose either. But let me know your thoughts and if you agree with this or disagree with this and write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the new Apple Watch Series 8. Well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.